Hello my fellow crafters and welcome back to Inspiration for Cards. Today I'm going to be making Christmas tags, Christmas gift tags. They're going to be quite big, but uh, yeah, I like that. Um, I'm going to be using this mixed media paper for that because I'm going to be working with some mixed media. I'm going to be using this beautiful collage paper. It's from Tim Holtz um, and it's called, what's it called? The Holly uh, paper. I really like that. So I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using uh, this set from uh, Tim Holtz and I'm going to be using some stamps that I'm going to grab in a second. I've gone ahead and cut out everything that I'm going to be using because, well, it's saving a lot of time. Uh, I've cut out the, the gold with uh, sticky adhesive on the back. So that will save me a lot of time later on. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in and make these fun little tags. So as I said, I've already cut out some bits and bobs, etc. Um, but first I'm going to start with the tags and I'm going to be using the matte collage medium um, to adhere this uh, beautiful paper to it. Before I do that, I'm going to grab my brand new craft mat, mat um, because that will help me with cleaning up. So I'm going to stick that just in the middle. I could. It should go here on the side, but because my camera is focused here, I'm going to put it on here and that will help me to uh, yeah, make the filming a bit easier. Right, I'm just going to roll off a bit of this paper and I'm going to see, I'm going to cut some off first over here. Because I want these tags to be matching, but not similar. So I can already see I want this part on here. And I'm just going to cut off some bits and pieces that I like and that I will use on my tags before I tear everything apart. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some collage medium. I'm using the Distress collage medium brushes for that. Just because I really like how they apply the glue. And stick this down. Now I'm not going to be worried about the holes, I will punch these open later again. I'm just going to put this on there and put some collage medium over the top. Now I've got some of these paper dolls here that I want to put on there as well. So um, again, I'm going to put some, and this is, I'm just doing as I, we go along, there's no rhyme or reason at all. I just like to, I like it there, maybe a bit more to the side. And again, put some collage medium over the top. There, and I'm gonna let this one dry now before I tear off the rest of the paper. Now I'll move on to the next one. And repeat the same process. Going to put on the collage medium. There we go. That's on there. And let's put this little guy over there. Oop, put him on there. And put some medium over it. And actually, I like the brush strokes. Um, it gives it a more of an authentic feel to me. So I'm going to continue with the other two and I'll be back. Okay, we're on to the next step. These are all nice and dry and I'm going to start by making a bit of a drop shadow around the dolls, the paper dolls that I've put on there. And just going to slightly give them a bit of a shadow. Give it a bit of a grungy, more of a grungy look. And because I've got this collage medium under there, it really gives me the freedom to smudge it out and to really make the shadow work. 
And even if I think it's too much, I just wet my finger or even go in with the baby wipe and take some off. That's what I like about working with these crayons. You can really work them as you like them. Even take them off the image if I want to. Just play. That's what it is. Bring out the inner child and just play with crayons. I love it. So I'm going to do the same with the little girl. And I know I'm going over them and I'm smudging it, but I can easily take it off again as I just showed you. There. Girl is clean again. And I'm just going to take off a bit of excess from here as well. There we go. That's step one. Next, I'm going to use some of the limited edition distress crayons to create some color on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start and I'm just going to go over this as well. Just creating some smudges of color. I'm going to do one by one because I know myself I'm going to be slow. So there we go. And some of this beauty. I'm just going to smudge it out with my fingers, switching tools, as Tim, use, <laughs> Tim says. Uh, yeah, it's still the right tool. I'm just going to smudge it in there. until I'm happy with the result. Okay, next I'm going to take one of the Tim Holtz stencils and I'm just going to put that over here and take my baby wipe and take in some places, remove this crayon we just put on there, like that. And I'm again doing this quite randomly, not fussed about where I'm doing it. I just want some of this collage paper background to shine through and that's the beauty of this crayons that you can really take off some of that crayons even if you put it on there because that collage medium is under there. And that gives you the opportunity to do this which I really like. Next, I'm going to be putting on this. I'm not going to stamp anything on it. I know I said that in the beginning of this video, but I've changed my mind. Doesn't that happen very often when we are in the creative process? Um, because I think I'm going to be putting another tag on the back of this. Um, I'm going to put on my panchettas. I'm going to see how I'm uh, going to do that. Now, what I've did off camera, I've already done that with the majority of these um, but I'll show you on on two if I can find the one that isn't done yet. I've, what I've done I took uh, some distress ink in pine needles 
on a blending tool and just slightly went over this. Now when this dries, it will dry a bit lighter than this, but it will just give it some dimension instead of just having the flat paper. So that's why I did this. And I did the same with the red one. Uh, what I did there is I took some of the aged mahogany and again put it on the blending tool and just on the edge created some darkness. Now again this just gives it some dimension. Um, doesn't have to be perfect again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble this. I've got the berries here as well. I've got all my leaves cut out of gold. So I will uh, assemble this now. I'm just going to have a look of how I want this all to be positioned. Now I want some stuff hanging off the edge. So um, what I'm going to do first, actually, because I want this to have a bit more of a crunchy look. So I'm just going to take some of this, um, what's it called, walnut stain. I'm just going to go around the edge and, and grunge it up a bit. I want a bit more that crunchy look on the sides. There we go. I just think that makes such a huge difference some areas look so I will do that to every single one first I will put on my foliage now I'm gonna take my glue put some glue on the back stick it on there and as I said, I like it hanging off the side a bit. And parts I don't like, I can always cut off. But I do like it. There we go. That's that one. I love this die set. It's really, really nice. Okay, next I'm gonna put on my pancetta. There we go. Okay, this one is all cleaned off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on there, but I'm slightly gonna offset it. So it should be on here like this. I'm just gonna slightly offset it. There we go. And I think this is all it needs. It's shiny from the gold. It's got the shine of the distress crayons on the back. So yeah. So I'll put this to the side, I'll assemble the others and I'll show you the finished results. Okay, here we are. All four of them are done. I love them, but I'm still missing a bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my splatter brush and I've got some Hero Arts re with some water and I'm just gonna Splat it on there. Not strategically, without any rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna splatter it. Then I'm gonna take a baby wipe. And just clean off the paper dolls. And while this is drying, I'm gonna cut out four more of these tags, 
to make the backs of these. So I'm gonna let this dry, cut out the other ones, and then I'll be back. So I've got my stamping tool out, I've got my tags all cut out, and I'm going to be stamping, partially stamping this on the tag that's gonna be the back. Um, I love this scribbly script, so I'm gonna stamp that with Distress Oxide Bundled Sage. So I'm gonna pick up my stamp and let me ink it up. And then I'm gonna use a technique that I saw Tim use during one of his lives. I'm gonna try it, I've never done it before. First, let's stamp. I love these rubber stamps, they are so pretty. Look at that. And then what he did, he took a blending brush and blended it out so it got a bit softer, but you still saw the I love that. And then I'm gonna stamp again to make it a bit sharper. Look at that, that's stunning. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to all four tags. And the last one, stamp it down. and stamp the image again. Wow. Love, love, love this. Okay. Next, I'm going to choose this one. I'm gonna put that on the side here. And then I've got space to write the name over there the person who the gift is for. I'm gonna pick this up and then I'm going to use candied apple, nice bright red. Use the same technique Stamp again. That's the first one done. And here's the last one. Next, I'm gonna take my ATG gun and I'm gonna glue the two tags together. And I'm gonna use quite a lot of this double-sided tape because this one is quite warped, so I'm gonna make sure I'm really going around the edges to make sure it's really well adhered. There we go. Okay, just a little trick. If you struggle to line things up, what I did, I took my Mini Misty um, and I put the tag right into the corner here at the top. Next, I'm gonna take this one, line it up at the top and the side. Make sure this one is tucked in as well. Press down and you've got perfectly aligned tag without having to eyeball it or having to reposition 
because when you have the adhesive on that's not always easy so this is a just a quick tip from the day okay gonna put on the ribbon I just for me this is Christmas the green the gold the red and then finishing it off with a red ribbon that's really really what Christmas is all about for me color wise that is and I'm a sucker for Christmas anyway so but I think you already noticed that when you were looking at my channel and saw the Christmas videos that are on there. I'm always struggling with how to put this in there. And in the end of the day, uh, I think I did the last one wrong. But I'm never sure. Which is the right way? Tell me below. This one, the one on the left, or the one on the right. So there we go. I have my first Christmas tags ready to go. Front and back, completely different. But I love how they turned out. They're really fun. I love them. Uh, if you like them too, please consider to subscribe to my channel so you will not miss out on any of my future videos. There's going to be a lot more of mixed media, a lot more art journaling, etc, uh, etc. Et so if you like that, subscribe and you will uh, see it for the next one. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you the next time. Thank you. Bye.